my friend, what is a cute boy? He asked me, what is this? I said, this is a cute boy. Why you don't know what a cute boy is? Can anybody tell me what is a cute boy? Ah! It is a 3D shape. There are three dimensions. What are the possible three dimensions? Like this and there. So you have a three dimensional. A three dimensional object. There's length, breadth, and height. In this case, what is a cube special? Cuboid special is because it looks a bit like a rectangle. But those who say straight and rectangle is not involved. Rectangles and straight are two dimensional things. That's all it could be. Very good. Can you lower down the volume of the computer? Thank you. So then, go ahead and go. Right, so it looks like a rectangle, but it's not a rectangle. Rectangles and squares are flat shapes, two dimensional. What are the two dimensions? For two dimensions for square and rectangle. A rectangle has length and breadth of width. So that's how long and how wide it's all. And so how deep is a rectangle? Or how tall is a rectangle? Because it's flat on a surface. But a cube like this, there's slim bread. Two of the bases are the sides when you put it like this. Right? Two of the bases. Are parallel to each other. We put it like this. And two of the faces are parallel to each other. We put it like this. Right? Now, I can ask the pupil to stand up like that. Right? I can ask the pupil to stand up like this. I can ask the pupil to stand up like this. Right? Yes, flat surfaces, all flat sides. And can stand like that, I can stand like that, I can stand like that. Every time the length and breadth and height may change. If I say stand it like this, where's the height? Here, the side here. How tall it is. Right? If I put it like this, I say how tall it is. It is here. Right? <clears throat> so it may be different depending on how you stand it. Now, <clears throat> what's a cube then? Well, like, say, like a three dimensional. Square. Yes, it's like the one in your the you have to be having, right? Okay, but do you know that I can put cubes here to make two balls? Really? Look at your book now, figure A. How many cubes are you? Three. three. The three cubes make one two balls. Can you see that? Yeah. Right? Correct now. It's a pretty shape. Now what about C? Is C a cube boy? Yeah, it's a cube boy, right? How many cube for you? Yeah. No. So, a uh, cube boy means that there are some rectangular faces. Maybe all sides are all faces of this is a rectangle. And I could line the cubes up to make it into one cuboid. Like for A, I can have three cubes to make one cuboid. For D, how many cubes are used? Eighteen. Very good. So D.
V is made of 18 little cubes. Join together to make one cuboid. I can draw this into a cuboid that is like this. Can you understand? What is it, Rion? You can what? Yeah, you have to change the language. Is it okay now? Thank you. Okay, this okay? Let's move on. That's why the title here says, Cube void or cube? May I ask you, does anybody don't know what's a cube void now? Everybody's clear what's a cube void? Are you clear what's a cube? Now, if when I say I use cubes to make cuboids, do you think I can use cubes to make another cube? Yes. So I look at the next page. The next page, on page 126, here, there are four cubes. Do you see the four cubes? A, B, C, D, marked out with the letters W, X, Y, and Z. These are made with unit cubes as well to make a bigger cube together. Are you okay? Now, can you take your little cubes and try to make X out? How many cubes do you need? X. X is how many? Eight. Okay, so. Am I going too fast for you? No. Is this okay? Uh, I move my camera so you can see. Whoops. Does it look like it? Okay, so in this case, I make a cube. A bigger cube of mini cubes. I make a mini, I make a bigger cube with a mini cube. So how many cubes did I have for W? It's one, one, and one, and one. About X, we used eight cubes, right? Yes. But just now when I look at that one cube, can you tell where's the three dimension? Can you see? It's just one side, one side, and one side, right? So I could check my, I'm gonna use my highlighter to color my cube. Okay. So it's just this side. Can you see? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Don't, if you don't want to color, it's fine too. Yeah, you, I, yeah, I'm going to collect the cubes back later. So I have this side. And then I have uh, here and here. I just color three sides of the faces. And see? And do you think this is enough for measurements, the three dimension? How long is this cube? Mm, one unit. In this case, it's indeed one cm. You can use a ruler and see it's really one cm. How about the how the the, the breadth of the rec, the square the cube? One also, right? How tall is the cube? 
also one. So one, 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 right? So if I do the next one, this one, right? How, how long is this cube? Two minutes, okay, two minutes. <clears throat> okay, two units, huh? So I see one and two, la? one and two. Okay, so I see <clears throat> here's two units. Okay, how wide is this? Also two units, can see? How tall? Also two units. Is it okay? I think I'm a bit too slow. I'm gonna move faster. Next one already. How long is this? Why? Three. Three units. Three units. How, what's the breath? Also three units. How tall? Also three units. So two, 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 three, three, three. What do you think about that? Four, four, four. Now. What do you notice about the volume then? I'm going to ask one person to unmute. Huh? Choose me? Who's me? Okay, let's see. Uh, let's hear from... Tiffany. Please unmute yourself. Okay, Tiffany, please tell us what do you notice about the volumes of Y and Z? Times two, times two. Uh, for X is? Times two, times two, times two. Why? What about cube Y? What's the volume for Y? Three times three. Three times three times three. What is three times three times three? Huh? What is three times three times three? What is four times four times four? Is this okay? So, what is so special about cubes? The volume of the cube will be length times length times length. So, you will notice that in your measurement is in cubic units, cubic centimeter, or cubic meters. Is it okay, everybody? Yeah. Now, just now we talk about using small little cubes. We have been using the small little cubes, right? The mini cubes. And we have been building, we have been building structures, all right? Building, small buildings, building of various shapes. Then we talk about how we look at the building from different points of view, right? The front view, side view, things like that. Then now we talk about I can use the mini cubes to make put together and make a bigger cube. Yeah. And then I'll put the mini cubes together to make a cube board, like a rectangle thing like this. You know, you know what this for? This cube board for? <laughs> it was the box that we that I put the coffee, uh, the packaging, the packaging. 
for the the football game thing that okay. Yeah, I just bought it. <laughs> I just bought another one for the last okay. So, so these packages are important. And why do I need the measurement? To see how I can see and do packaging. You know what I'm talking about? I have a product that I want to put into a box. Yeah, so you can make the correct size box. Imagine <coughs> you make this box and I say I want to put the mouse inside. I think you'll keep Maybe a bit squeezed, right? Put the leather inside. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, so what about I say we hear we have been saying use the little cubes to make a bigger cube, right? Use the little cubes to make a bigger cube, or use the little cubes to make a cube boy, right now. Can I say I use a cube boy to make a cube? Can I say can I use cube box to make cube? Yeah. How are uh, they cut it? Good idea. And can you use a few boys to make other what? Yeah. Yes, possible. So, for example, here. Now, if you look here, If you look here, see what's happening. I can look at this and I hear about cuboids of cubes, right? And these are the two formulas that I must remember. Actually, I only need to remember one. I feel that this one is the most important. Okay? The three dimensions. Just now, after math lesson, uh, Hanle was asking a question. He asked, Miss Lee, Miss Lee, can we, form, can we draw a four-dimensional object? Okay, there is an interesting question. I, I will say, I will tell him next time. But for now, we will deal with the three dimensions. But for you, those of you who are interested, Oops, what happened? Okay, so now we'll focus on the three dimension. We talk about a cuboid. Measures three centimeter by two centimeter by three centimeter. So three, the length to the breadth and three the height or depth or how tall this cuboid is. Look, this is a cuboid. It can be cut into a lot of one centimeter cubes. How many cubes can I cut this into? 18, very good. Based on what is drawn here, is I can cut it into 18 cubes, right? Now, look, look, look. If I'm going to cut it into two cuboids, what do you think will happen? Let's say, let's say, uh, I chop it like what uh, Jasmine says. I chop here. I chop like that. Cut ya! Okay, I cut it. Do you think it's possible? Can I cut like that? Can I? I cut from the middle here, I chop. Can? Does it make sense to say two cube boys join? Yes. Okay, now, now I got a challenge for you. You have your little cubes, right? Okay, now you're gonna try this. Uh, you get already 60 mini cubes first. 
What you made, huh? Again, I'm going to spotlight your camera for everybody. Okay? Right? So. Cute. Let's read the instructions first, huh? The instruction says here. Hey, hey, hey. Are you okay? The instruction says here, I need to build cuboids with the mini cubes, the unique cubes. And all of them is 16 unique cubes, made out of 16 unique cubes, to make four different cuboids. Okay? To make four different cuboids, I need to record the dimension. There are three dimensions. What the three dimensions are? Length, breadth, and height of the cuboids in the table below. Okay. You, you, you want to do it by yourself or I start you off with an example? Okay. I'll give you one easy example, right? 16. Sixteen. Yes. Somebody don't have the worksheet. Why you don't have the worksheet? I only have sing with one here. Yeah. Then where is your worksheet? Oh, one how yours is here. Tie with the wrong work. Tie with the wrong worksheet. Thunder. Anybody else has no worksheet? Are you okay? Are you okay? I start you off ready uh, with an example. Hey, Frederick, how is it? Still not working? Working already. Are you in the Zoom already? Hey, go after the lesson, you have to get in. Okay, I start you off a blue one. I, I draw for you. I don't mind. May give you an example, okay? Let's say my Q point solid A. Okay, let's say my A uh, looks like a bit like this. Okay. 
Okay? I draw it like this. Can see or not? Uh, I put it as the length is 16 units. Okay? The breadth is one unit. The height is one unit. Uh, I am using all 16 cubes, huh? So, what's the volume? 16, huh? 16 cubic units. 16 cubes, huh? 16 cubic units. Uh, how does it look like? How does it look like? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. My solid head looks like this long, 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 long wall. Okay, a very long cuboid in a fine craft head. Okay, uh, is it okay? Can I say it now? Can I say it? My first cuboid head. Okay, can you make another one B? Make already, yeah. Okay, Samantha, 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 Samantha,
I shouldn't, you know, my loss, my lesson is such a short lesson. But when you are back, I'm almost finishing you. Know. Is it okay? Uh, that's my B looks like what is being drawn. So it's about four units. Four units. And then two units. Is this four? Is that okay? Uh, who else is another one? A different one. Okay, uh, uh, I look at our first one first. Okay. Let's take a look at our first one. Is your camera pointing at it? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, you're all looking at Akil's one now. Uh, is this a cuboid? Oh, not quite. Why is it not quite a cuboid? There's a layer that's sticking out. It's, it looks more like a block of L-shaped flats, right? Correct right, not? Is this a cuboid? Uh, not quite. Okay, so Akil, this, that's not very correct, but good try. Okay, let's try to make another one. Okay, so the cuboid means that this, uh, uh, this looks like a box with nothing sticking out, okay, a rectangular box. Okay, let's take a look at Ashley's one now, uh, and then human's one. Human, your yours is a bit blur, is it because your, your can you uh, adjust the camera a bit? Uh, let's take a look at Ashley's one and Nisha's one. Okay, who else is done? Okay. Oh, see, your camera is not moving, pointing at it. Oh, okay. I'm going to look at humans one now. Huh? Are you looking at humans one? He made a building like this. Can you see? Can you look at his building? How tall is his building? Four. So I write down four as the height, right? Uh, what's the length of the building? Two. How's the breadth of the building? Two. The height is four. Okay, that's great. And it's still 16. Now, if you look at mine again, I'm going to show mine again. Okay, so what I did here is with this solid here, I think it kind of flipped it around to make it stand this way. Right? It, it made it stand up like this. Okay? And it's like this. It's about like this. Is this okay? So my measurements are two, two, four. So length is two, length, breadth is two, and the height is four units. Is this okay? Now, if I were to draw this as C, uh, it looks something like a square face. Sorry, it, it is a square face on top, right? Uh, but it's a tall. Something like this. Is this okay? Does it look like it? So I have two units. Two units and four in height. Is it okay? Now, anybody has another different one? So I have 16, right? You have a different one? Okay, let me take a look. Huh? I'm going to look at Ashley. Ashley, where are you? Is your name Ashley? Okay, let's take a look at Ashley's one. Are you looking at hers now? Ah, that's interesting. Is this a cuboid? Yes, it is. Very good. Now, uh, but what's the length of this cuboid? What's the length? Four units. 
What's the breath? The breath is four. One you need. And the height? Four. Are you able to build this as well? You did that. Any other examples? Anybody? Okay, yeah. So if I want to draw it, uh, I'm going to draw it. Let's say I draw it out. Okay. Uh, actually, can you be there, please? If I draw it out, and Is that okay? Is it all going okay for you? We are finishing this up. Now, does it look like does it look like this? The one that uh actually made. So I have four units, one unit, and four units. Does it look like it? Now, <clears throat> wait first, Sabrina. Wait. Can you now tell me? Hello. Using the small cubes, I made into four different cube boards. Earlier on, we said, can we use, must we use all 16? I said, yes, you must. What do you notice about these three, these four different solids? Yes. Are you? Probably the same. Tiffany? I can use different length times breadth times height to get the volume of 16. So the volume can be the same, but the solids can look entirely different. You understand what I'm talking about? Now, your homework now. Yes. Okay, never mind, I'll help you later. Okay? Right. Your homework, everybody. Are you ready? Last one already, yeah? Last one already, yeah? Page 146 of your worksheet. This one. One, four, six of your worksheet. On this worksheet, our friend suggested we could just use the length what is the length? Can you tell me? The length is three units. What about the breadth? Okay, the length is three units. The breadth. Three units. What about the height? Height is also three units. Are you looking at what I'm looking at? So I could calculate the volume of this solid, not no longer counting cubes. I can go to count the volume. Length times breadth times height. That is equals to three times three times three. That gives me 27 units cubed. Oh, it's meters. No longer unit, but meters. So I can change all the U to meters. Is this okay? Well, 27 meter cube or cubic meters. I can double check by counting the cubes. Is that okay? Okay, 
So for those of us who think that, ah, this is so easy, page 146. Then I suggest, why don't you try 147 as well? Okay, for example, I have volume of this solid being length times breadth times height. That is equals to the length 13 times breadth, three times height, six. That gives me 13 times three is 39. 39 times six will be 234 cubic centimeters. Does this sound okay for you? All right. Then with that, your homework is this page compulsory, this page optional. Am I going too fast for you? Okay. Is it too slow? Okay. The speed is just nice. Okay. Can I? Can? Most importantly, don't forget the units again. Huh? You must always check for units. Can everybody? Okay. Then I'm going to close and we can leave the room. Before we go, let's take a photo together. Everybody, one, two, three. Did you? One more. One, two. Hey, singer, Dylan, and. Uh, okay, okay, turn on your camera. Last one already. Who is this? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Chichi. Okay, we are. One more. I can see everybody there. Ready? One, two, three. Chichi. Okay, okay.